Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session on volumes as triple integral. Triple integrals can be used to evaluate the volume of the given solid or a finite bounded region capital D in the space. Whenever we speak volume, the formula is going to be triple integral over the finite bounded region D. We can write it as dz dy dx or we can write this as the same like triple integral over D dx dy dz. You can write in any order which is convenient for you. I am going to take this order. Let us go into the problem. Find the volume of the sphere. So, we all know the volume of the sphere is 4 by 3 pi a cube provided a is my radius and center 0, 0, 0. Now, we are going to find the volume of sphere using triple integrals. Before going into the problem, let us have a quick recap. We know the area of circle. We have to deal this as four quadrants. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, finding the area of circle using all the four quadrant stuff in integration. So, what we are doing? Instead of taking all the four quadrants, I will take the first quadrant and I can evaluate either drawing a vertical strip or a horizontal strip and I will find the area for the first quadrant. From this, I can say that area is equal to 4 times the first quadrant. Hope you understand why I am telling this. The same scenario now, volume of the sphere. So, circle, I cut the circle into 4 equal half and I take the first quadrant and evaluate 4 times the first quadrant. Then what about the sphere? Let us consider orange. Okay, I will cut into two equal halves. Say north, south. I will get this two equal halves when I cut into north, south. Now, again, I cut in the same direction with east, west. So, I will be getting four equal pieces. One, two, three and four. Now, keep all the four equal pieces and I have to cut this horizontally. Hope you understand. Then, I will be getting eight equal pieces. Now, this eight equal piece, I will take one piece exactly. This piece is called as the octant. So, in the circle, we have taken quadrant. In the sphere, we are going to take the octant. So, we have now eight equal pieces of orange. Out of this, I am going to take one piece that is called as one octant of a orange. Now, we can apply this for the same in sphere. Now, the same scenario is going to happen in the sphere. I cut the sphere into north, south, east, west and then horizontally. If I do this, I will be getting 8 equal pieces. I am going to take only the 1 octant from the sphere. That is going to be my first octant. So, my first octant is always positive and it touches 0, 0, 0. You can have a view on it. So, this is going to be 0, 0, 0. Here, y means 0, a, 0. For x, we have a, 0, 0. For z, we have 0, 0, a. Hope you can view it. Now, the volume of the sphere is going to be 8 times the volume of the first octant. So, this is the idea students. Why we are doing it? If you take this first octant, my lower limits for triple integral is going to be 0, 0, 0. That is x equal to 0, y equal to 0 and z equal to 0. This will be easy for me to evaluate the problem. Let us go into the problem. Now, listen, all these images which I have shown are the pictorial representation which make you a clear idea about the problem. So, you need not be draw the diagram, you can directly go for problem. Step 1. First, you have to find the limit. My step 1 is going to be the limit. So, I am going to consider the volume as triple integral over a finite bounded region D, dz, dy, dx. So, that means my outer integral is x. So, it has constant limit. Then, my inner integral is z. z should be having some limits in terms of function of x, y. When you evaluate this, then z will disappear. For y, it should be some function of x. And finally, the outer integral are going to be constant. This is the order I am just fixing. Now, let us write the limit. So, as I said, in the first octant, all my lower limits are 0. So, z equal to 0, 
y equal to zero, x equal to zero. Now we are going to find the upper limit. So now from this, I want to find z in terms of x, y. So z square is equal to a square minus x square minus y square. Since in the first talk trend all are positive, when I take square root, I'll be getting positive square root of a square minus x square minus y square. So I can write the z limit first. Next, since the job of z is over, delete z. Now I want to find the upper limit for the y. So y square is equal to a square minus x square. Same story, first octant all are positive. So I take positive square root, will be getting square root of a square minus x square. Now z is over, y is also over. So x square equal to a square, x equal to a. Done. This is the limit students. For a given problem, step 1 always find the limits. Now step you are going to write the formula. So volume as I assume over the region D, dz, dy, dx. Now I can say this as 8 times first octant. Now substitute the x, y, z limits will be getting like this. Now integrating dz, it is very easy. We can get z and my upper limit is going to be square root of a square minus x square root minus y square. Lower limit is 0 dy dx. When you substitute the upper and lower limit, we get like this. Now you see students, it looks like very big problem. But on the other way, see here, when I am going to integrate with respect to y, both my a square and x square are constant. So a square minus x square is again a constant. So what I am going to do, I am going to take this as t square. So it is easy for me to integrate now. So integral 0 to a 8 times integral 0 to instead of taking square root of a square minus x square from this I get square root of a square minus x square is simply t 0 to t and I can substitute this as t square minus y square dy dx. Why I am rewriting the problem? It will be very easy for me to evaluate. Now according to the problem whenever I integrate with respect to y t square is constant because it has a square and x square. Now, do you remember our school days formula? Integral square root of a square minus x square dx is going to be x by 2 square root of a square minus x square plus a square by 2 sine inverse of x by a. Now we are going to apply the formula. The only change is here we have constant a square and in the volume problem we have t square and here x square is the variable, here y square is the variable. So I can rewrite the formula even in terms of y, it is very good for me. Now according to the problem, volume is equal to 8 times integral 0 to a. Now integrating this y by 2 instead of constant a square, I have t square. So I can write this as t square minus y square plus t square by 2 sine inverse of y by t. My limits are going to be 0 to t dx. T here students, when I apply upper limit, t square minus t square will become 0. When I apply the lower limit here, this term will become 0. 0 into anything is 0. Therefore, this term is completely 0. Only I am going to take this second term. Now applying the upper limit and lower limit here, we will be getting integral 0 to a 8 times t square by 2 sin inverse of 1 minus sin inverse of 0. We know sin inverse of 0 is 0. Sin inverse of 1 is pi by 2. That is 90 degree. Therefore, v is equal to 8 times integral 0 to a t square by 2 into pi by 2 dx. Very important note students, t square is constant when we integrate with respect to y square. But now, see I have dx. With respect to x, t square is not constant. If you take this t square outside, the problem is completely wrong. So now, cancelling this 2, 2 with 8, we will be getting 2 times integral 0 to a and I will take pi also outside. t square is nothing but a square minus x square into dx. Hope you understand. Now integrating this, we will be getting a square x minus x cube by 3 integral 0 to a. Lower limit is going to be 0. My upper limit when I substitute, I will be getting a cube minus a cube by 3. So taking a cube outside, we will be getting 1 minus 1 by 3. It is going to be 2 pi a cube 
2 by 3. Therefore, my final solution volume is going to be 4 by 3 pi a cube. Done students. The required volume of this sphere is 4 by 3 pi a cube. Hope you understand. Thank you for watching. We hope you found this video helpful. Stay tuned for more and keep up the great work. Subscribe to our channel and see you in the next video. Bye bye.